Jasper. Welcome back, everybody. Today is Watercolor Tuesday, and we're going to be doing something a little different. So we're going to be using watercolor and uh, permanent ink. So we, if you have dip pens or these are just a uh, unipen, fine. Um, the uh, microns are another good one you can use. They're waterproof also. And these microperm are also waterproof. Copic is another one. Anything that's waterproof. So we don't have to worry about uh, smearing the ink afterwards. Hey, Lori. So we did this one last uh, week. And that was the, the uh, letter A for August when we first started, August. And I started using different stencils to put in my colors that I've been using. So that was a stencil. And then I just filled in the colors. And that was the Cosima that we did. And so I thought we could do something a little different. And this time we're going to do sketch uh, your day, basically. And I don't know if you're familiar with this book. I love this book. And uh, she, I think she has another one out also. And it's all about how to sketch your day and add different writing um, and combine it. So it, it's not necessarily a scene, uh, unless that's all you want, but it can be a combination of things to represent your day. And this is just for your own sketchbooks. And you can add a whole bunch of uh, text, or you can just have pictures. It's whatever you want to do. So I thought we could do something like this. And in a way, we kind of have to uh, figure out how to represent certain things in your day. So I'm just going to put that aside here. And I think I'll get a piece of paper out. So what I did yesterday, and I'm my days are very simple, I guess you could say. I live in an extremely small town, and I'm semi-retired, basically. Um, semi meaning. I'm doing art uh, part-time to make some extra money through YouTube and my Patreon and commissions, that type of thing. So what I start off every day, most people do, are what do you do? You get up, you have a cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is you drink in the morning. So... We can represent it with a cup. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Maybe you go and get uh, Starbucks or Tim Hortons or whatever uh, coffee shop that's around you. You could also just put the name on the coffee cup and that would uh, represent your morning, say. Uh, I'm just going to get a pencil here. So, coffee. So, what can we, how can we represent coffee? Um, and what does this mean? So, this is morning. Uh, we can have a cup. Or... What else would represent coffee to you? Coffee beans. Uh, think of stuff that you... Uh, back. What are you using with your alcohol inks? I just got 19 new bottles in the mail. 
Last night and need ideas. Ah, you got some inks, alcohol inks. Energy. <laughs> Good one. And how would you represent energy? Can't draw that. Think about it. What what first comes to your mind when you see energy? A muscles or I have a feeling I missed a lot of Keisha's last night and <laughs> you got one eye open. Hmm. Yeah, is it a muscle? So you could do an arm with a muscle, a drink. There's a good one. Uh, so we could do an energy drink. So you could put a, um, a brand name on the can if you want. Um, what else? An arm. Flexing his muscles. Uh, running. Yeah. What else uh, is comes to your mind as far as coffee? So maybe you have something with your coffee every morning. So coffee is um, we're trying to think. Okay, in the morning that's what we do all the time, and it can be fun because you could actually have. You know your cup in different styles you could make uh different um designs on your cups or the day on the cup getting out of bed this morning <laughs> so you think about what how does it relate to you the news okay there's another one So maybe a newspaper would represent the news. So what else did uh, I do? I always water my flowers in the morning. So we could do water flowers or flower pots. So we could do um a flower um, pots and pots um a hose water check my email okay so you could do whatever your uh, email um, little icon would be feed the cats. Yeah, yeah, you're starving. Bumblebee, yeah, bumblebees you could put in there representing um, bees. And then what else did I do? Oh, I did my, um, I gathered all my stuff for Happy Mail and posted it. So mail to post. So I could do stack of letters. Stamps. Um, even the front front of a building. I gotta check this just in case something is off.
it's just my, my twin sending me something. <laughs> um, yeah, the front of the building. Um, before coffee came, cuddling with my dog. Yeah, that's another good one. Put your dog in there. He's part of your day, your full day. Um, it's a dog. I have three dogs here. So you can put one of those, maybe a leash. Or a food bowl. Or even a paw print. Would be cute. Yeah, they are a bundle of happiness for sure. They make you smile. You can't help it. <laughs> um, what else did I do? So I went to the post office. I did cleaning and a little bit of gardening. So uh, weeding. So what could I represent weeding? So a weed, of course. Gloves. Um, break. That type of thing. And what else did I do? Another thing you can also also add every day is what was the weather like? So weather. So yesterday here was a beautiful day. So put a sun. It was sunny all day. And what else? Temp. Put the temperature in. Um, what else? Hey, Zandra, Susan, everybody that came in, welcome. Okay, temps. So, what was the sun and maybe the date? You can put the, that in every day if you wanted to. Okay, so here's that's just a few things. So, a lot of times you it's easier if you do this type of kind of mind mapping in a way before you start trying to draw something so this way you've got your ideas in front of you and you can decide how to put them on the page because you know what you're going to do instead of trying to figure it out and draw one thing at it and stop and then try to think it again and then maybe you wanted one particular thing as the most dominant thing on the page because that's where you spent maybe more time than any of the other things or maybe it's the most important thing that you enjoy all right so and it doesn't matter where you put it on the page either uh, use your sketchbook that's what i always say is do it in your sketchbook it's not precious if you decide you really like doing this type of thing when you want it to be a more um, prettier page or without mistakes and you enjoy doing this, then start a new book just for this. You can also add tickets or uh, pictures, photos, receipts, that type of thing on them, whatever you want. It's just to remember the day. And you don't have to do this every single day. Do it whenever you want. Don't make it a chore. As soon as it starts to become a chore, you're not going to do it. And you're not going to enjoy doing it. And therefore, you're going to procrastinate <laughs> and put it off. And that's not part of your creative journey. If it's not fun to do, then don't do it. So for me, that's what I do. I don't do uh daily journaling every day 
it's just not my thing. I'll, uh, I might write it down on the, at the end of the day before I go to bed and then come back to it and put it in my journal when I have time. Uh, a lot of times I don't feel like doing it. So I don't because I don't want to make this into a chore, basically. Who, who likes chores? I don't think there's too many. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What was, what did I do? And what's the most important thing? I think my dogs are probably one of the biggest things in my life and my son. Um, let's see. So I could draw, and I'm not going to get photorealistic or anything. This is just something quick. So let's see. Um, get a picture of the dogs here. In here somewhere. I think I've got, I don't know if I have three of them together or not. Let's see. Got a lot of flowers in my, so they are very important to me in the summertime. Oh boy. Uh, wait. Oh, did I, I think I might have gotten rid of a bunch of my photos. Uh oh. Oh, there's Coco. Okay, there's Coco. She's my little miniature dash hound. So I'm going to put her right here. And she's going to be one of the main. And I'm going to use a pencil. Her little floppy ears. She hasn't got really long ears, but she's cute. And let's see. It's down. She's got a very long nose. Just the basics. Let's see. See her eye there. I don't know if you can see this. Her eye. She's got almond shaped eyes. And the other one about there. This one's a little bigger. Like that, I think. You got pretty, pretty yellow eyes, gold. Okay, the little pupils are there. They always have that center ridge down their nose a little bit. And let's see, it goes like this. She's on an angle a little bit. Like that. And 
her. She's chocolate brown, but she does have uh, the red markings on her eyebrows. And just a little bit on her snout. She's getting old, though. She's an old girl. She's 11. Like that. Let's see. Her little stubby feet. So we'll just put just put her, a little bit of that in there. I can't really see her other, but we'll we'll leave it at say she's lying down. Okay. Like that. So there's Coco. And then, let's see, what else? So we got the dog. And then we had a bunch of mail, or I had a bunch of mail to post for the members of the uh, Blooming Artists um, level. So let's put a few of these stacks in here and I like to overlap things just makes it a little bit more interesting okay so let's do that and maybe let's see My coffee, of course. So maybe hmm, where can we put the coffee? And watering plants, my pots. So we could have gloves. I did weeding, so maybe we'll put um, the pot of plants behind Coco. She usually is out on the back deck with me when I'm watering. Like I said, you don't have to have it perfect. So we can put a little bit of maybe I'm just um, putting scribbles. And then what I'll do is use line work and watercolor fill that in. But that's my pot there. And then hmm, we could put a pen in here too. or pencil, whatever. You can just get some reference too if you, if you really want to have it accurate. Okay, so pencils. Um, if you want to put writing, you could have writing down here. You could have her on the pillow, so 
She has her blanket. <laughs> she has a blankie. Just put that in there. And, okay, let's see. Let's put a cup here. Now, you, if you have a certain type of coffee cup you drink out of every day, put that in. Mine are tall, kind of narrow. They go like this. They're kind of a neat shape. And let's put the handle right here. Like that. That's the shape of mine. And you could just show that there's something in there. You could put your design on there if you wanted to, whatever. Um, what else? What else? Cup, energy drink, flowers, weeding mail. Put some, maybe some gloves or what else could we do? Could put the month across here also. So August, let's do that. Now you could make it rounded or whatever. And then let's put uh, some sun rays in here. This is just indicating that it was a beautiful day. So you can do whatever you want. And it was 23 Celsius, um, August, what else, mm, 23 feels like. Thirty. We have a lot of humidity around here. Okay. What else can we do? Let's put some paw prints in here. Let's see. We have we have four though. Do they have four toes or five on the, I think it's four, isn't it? Doesn't have to be perfect to, just to show. I like having three though. Uh, four. Yeah. Okay, like that. And then we can, any space you could do your writing in. I think I'm going to put some gloves in. Let's see. You can find gloves, um, work gloves, let's see, like that, 
I'm just going to go right over top of this. One, two, three, four, five. If you want to use an eraser, if you don't like something, do it. That's fine. This is the ribbed edge of the gloves. Just to show that that is what it is. And some little lines showing that it's gloves like that. Maybe we'll put uh, another over here. We have the set. Just play. Don't don't fuss too much over it. Just play. All right. Maybe a bee. There are there are a lot of yellow jackets, not bees, out right now. August is notorious for that. Let's put a pesky wasp in here. That. You do help. <laughs> you guys are great. Keep me motivated. What else? Let's put a big eyeball in here. Um, I'm going to add another paw print over here. I have three dogs, so <laughs> here's lots. That's kind of a funny paw print. We can fix that when we do the... Um... I think that's pretty good because we'll put writing in here too. So let's get our, I have my um, watercolor palette. Let me move it over so you guys can see a little bit. Um, I have a number two here. So when we're doing this type of work, I like kind of, sketchy looking marks you can always erase stuff so don't worry too much about it Little uh, pupils, little eyebrows.
that and a little foot. They have big feet. They got to have a lot of <laughs> padding for that big body of theirs. And then her little blanket. And then my flower pot. behind her. Let's put the leaves and stuff in here and we can fill in the pot afterwards. The leaves would be overhanging parts of it. But as you can see, I'm not worried about accuracy. Uh, a lot of my pots had, had petunias in them, so I like doing um, contour drawing too, especially with in this type of uh, art. I think it looks cool. You should try it. It's very freeing. Because you can always erase the uh, lines you don't want from the pencil. And you can add more later, too. So just have fun with it. Okay, let's put these gloves in. I'm going to try and stay with one line. Make sure I got well, five fingers, not six. <laughs> now I'm not worried about staying in the lines either with this. You, bet you know that this is gloves by the way it looks. So, okay, then we're just do these lines for the mail. Maybe I'll make envelope looking type of thing, just so we can see what it is. That. Maybe let's see. I will put stuff on that later. The pencil, <laughs> funky lead. You could make a. a really detailed pen if you wanted to. Okay, let's fix these toes a little bit. <laughs> They're funky toes. They're fun. 
you know there's a foot put there. And she does have big pads on her feet. She's got big feet. Cup. I get an F, but oh well. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Susan, I agree. I tried that too. I draw a chair. Well, okay, I gotta see what you guys are talking about. Um, we had to do a fine line drawing in college art class. A whole item without picking up the pencil. It was hard. Yeah, it is. It is a difficult one. You want to lift that pencil. Um, what did you draw? I was trying to remember. Let's see. Did you give me those beads? Um, Our instructor drew a, whoops, just got a message. Nike tennis shoe with one line. It was amazing. Um, yeah, there's all, all different things you can draw. One, It's a really good exercise to do, though. Um, we did a lot of that in art school. Uh, contour drawing for um, five minute drawing is really a great exercise. You kind of get a little stressed when you first try and do it. But as you go, you'll find yourself uh, teaching yourself basically what is the most important thing that I need to draw that will help me recognize what I'm drawing. So it's a really good uh, way of, of um, drawing stuff that's important in, in a, especially when you're doing quick uh, figure drawing. So if you're on on the road and you're stopping and you're trying to draw people because they're moving, you have to be real quick, but you want to have the gesture drawn as far as what the person's doing. And Okay, there's my, there's my day. <laughs> so let's uh, do a little bit of quick watercolor here so bring my water palette in there so cocoa is chocolate brown and kind of a caramely red color so we'll do her in um, burnt umber Let's see we'll just put some in here these are just going to be washes and then if you want to you can um, use colored pencils or more uh, watercolor to emphasize the areas. It's up to you. Leers brown. This is just sketchbook paper, so I'm not too worried about having it perfect. So it would be a little darker under or along our nose here. And in here, 
The inside her ear would be darker. And her feet are red also. But the rest of her are, well, her belly's red. She's cute. She's got attitude, though, that's for sure. She thinks she's a Doberman. <laughs> she only stands like seven inches tall. She's a short little thing. But she's got a big attitude. Big dog attitude. It's dark and inside here. Not too worried about getting it exactly the right color. Yes, they always do. She's funny though. It doesn't matter what temperature it is in the house, she has to be in her blanket, <laughs> like underneath her blanket. She's so funny. Okay, so I have a little bit of raw sienna. That's a pretty good color for her. It's basically the color of her feet. And the little eyebrows here. They're kind of raw sienna color too. Mm. Her nose is kind of a pinky brown color. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that orange that was on my thing and just put that on her nose. Like that. And her eyes are really goldy color. We'll fix that in a minute. Just let that go. And then she's got a, like a dark ring around the outer edge. It's really pretty. Uh, maybe in here we'll get a little more. Give her some dimension. She loves to eat. A funny girl. My son's dog is a uh, a coolie, a Australian coolie, and she's picky and she's such a <laughs> sensitive dog. Oh my gosh! And she. She's one of these grazers as far as eating, and my two will, it's like they've never eaten. <laughs> they just wolf it down. Eh? So you can't leave her food out because the others will eat it. And that, well, she's a bigger dog, so she, she gets a lot more food. So this one, she's so quick. She'll go and eat... <laughs> If she can sneak in and eat the food, she will. And then she's just in agony for the whole day because she ate three times the amount she would normally get, plus hers. 
She's such a funny dog. Okay, so she has this funny blanket and it's got red in it. Brown. <laughs> it's kind of got uh, striping and brown and then there's some gold in it too she loves her blanket and when I wash it and bring it to her out of the dryer oh my god it's like I'd given her best thing in the world she's funny she's always been a snuggler too all right my pots are black so we're gonna add some of that burnt umber. Let's see. I'm going to mix some here. It's burnt umber and Payne's Gray. I'll make a nice black. So let's start off light though. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and go around some of these leaves and stuff where the lip of the pot is. And then I can always go back and add more after I'm done the flowers. But I'm not worried about going over the lines or I like that look, especially in this type of drawing. Be darker around the rim. And let's make it a little darker around the dog just to bring it out a little bit. that maybe a little bit in there <laughs> yeah the biscuits yeah they they love their biscuits little treats cocker spaniel small for his breed whatever another one he is owner protective not good around other people love him dearly though he's my buddy yeah yeah some dogs are like that my son had a uh, king doberman that was like that <laughs> couldn't have anyone over i have a red a nice red up. and it has bumblebees on it Put some Coffee. I drink mine black. We'll just put the brown in here. 
Kathy, zoom out a little. We can't back. Oh, okay. My head's in the way. <laughs> Big head. Thanks. Um, Sandra. That. All right, let's do some greens. So I'm just using whatever I have on my palette here, with the greens, and I'm just going to dab here and there. I'm not worried. I'm not going to cover it all, but you can mix them too. Add a little bit of a different green. Just leave some areas, though, for your flowers. So my flowers are kind of a bright magenta color. So let's put that in here. Petunias, they're the, oh, what do you call it? Proven Winners, Super Vista or something. They're, they grew like crazy, huge. I only put two in, in the, uh, baskets in the, the pots and they grew crazy it's like amazing and full of blooms they're awesome if you ever want to you hardly have to do anything with them they self um, clean so you don't have to go picking them a little bit more color see I'm not I'm not really um just laying down some color. Okay, have a fantastic day, Z. Thanks for coming. I know everybody's got a life. Can't be sitting watching YouTube all day. There's things to do, but I'm glad you came and kept me company. Right, we can also get some gouache out. Okay, now the letters, we could just leave them because they were white, or you can just put a little hint of blue. Just where they're stacked here. More or less just to show the there's a bit of a shadow. Just play with it. You can write a um, person's name there if you wanted to also. And it's kind of color coordinated, actually. Let's put these in. So it's a fun page just to document your day. You can make it as detailed and perfect as you want, or you can do it like this. This is a fun way of being creative without having to worry about accuracy and drawing and stuff like that. Um, color pencil, maybe. Let's do the old-fashioned yellow on the pencil here. Let's 
the brown on the wood. Like that. Could put a little bit of a shadow in maybe on the bottom here. Just a bit too wet. Okay. Now the sun you could make yellow. You can uh, make it as fancy or as simple as you want. I'm not even going to worry about being in the lines. It's just being creative. This is great when you want to do something in a creative way, but you don't want to be uh, too... too um, what do you call it concerned about being perfect you don't want to spend a lot of time but you do want to do something play with it in this way and then you're still being creative still doing something okay Let's do a little bit of this blue. This is um, cobalt blue. I'm going to put it over here. Almost done. Maybe I'll just add a bunch of water to that. And I'm going to put maybe a wash. Just in here. And I can write over top of this too. So this is just quick wash so that some of this can still um, show through without having to color it. Sometimes I like to leave areas where I've just uh, put a drawing and nothing else, just ink. This is just watercolor, or not watercolor, uh, sketchbook paper, so nothing precious here. And the B, I can put some darker stuff in the B. See, I'm even not worried to play with it. If it runs, you never know. It might give a neat effect. Let's bring that down a little bit. Um, put a little bit of a light green on the bottom. Let's do that. Okay, and I think we need a little bit more up here. Just throw in a little bit of this blue between the sun rays. Like that. All right, let's dry it.
little bit damp, but it's starting to go through there. But I'm not worried about it. This is my practice book. I'll show you some pens that I've had for quite a while. I just haven't used them. <laughs> Make sure your paper is really good and dry before you start doing any pen work on it. In some books, you have to test the pens because they will, some of them will go through the page. See, that I'm not actually seeing that go through. Just from this. So, I'm going to erase some of these lines. I have one of these um, tough stuff. I like these. You can just erase your pencil lines and then you'll just have your ink lines left. Sometimes, depending on how much watercolor you put on, you can actually erase some of the line under the watercolor. Not all the time, but sometimes you can. Good. Oh, I didn't do the B. Okay, let's do that B. So. Um, I can also do it with pen if I wanted to. A little bit of yellow. These yellow jackets are pesky little things. Do you guys have them in the UK? That's aggressive. So we can put the 23 in now. Celsius. Feels like 30 Celsius. Now you could get letters, stick on letters if you wanted to do that, or uh, stencil, all kinds of ways of, of doing this. Um, let's see. I go through, yeah, a little bit. Let's try the other. Certain pens are better than others as far as going through. Let's see what this one will do. Make the letters fancy or not, it's up to you. It's a good way of practicing, though. See what you like. You don't have to be perfect. You could also use a cutout of something from magazines or all kinds of ways of doing this.
this is a good way of getting more comfortable with your um, letters, writing in a journal. Coming through, no, oh, that, see the micron doesn't go through. Some of them do though. August, and that was, and then you could, let's get a stencil. Well, we have this. This one, and that was the 15th. So then I could just put one. I don't think I want it that. Let's see, there's this one here. I want it like that or remember these <laughs> and five. You can still pick these up at your dollar stores or this one I think I got at uh, one particular place that sells all um, close out stuff from stores they had them there picked up a bunch Oop, I think it's thundering out here Chloe's not going to like that. She's not. She hates thunder. She'll probably be going hiding under my bed. This one's starting to wear out. Let's get another one. Do wear out. The thing is, when you're using these microns and these types of marker, fine line markers, don't press down on them. That's what wrecks them. Use a very light touch. Okay, let's put, let's see, I have, oh, what, a yellow, um, or an orange. Let's try this one. I don't know if these will go through, we'll see. Yep, see how it goes through? Okay, so that's not going to work. Um, paint marker? Or, well, let's use a...
pencil crayon. Orange. Just to give it a little different look. Let's see. And then where did I just put that? There it is. Little B. Make them a little darker. Okay. I can erase those lines, probably. Yep. Yeah, not bad. There. And just. Let's do a little more work on Coco. Give her a little more detail. Actually, I'll use some colored pencil. If you know me, I use a lot of colored pencil. I just like it. Or just finishing up, putting a little detail here and there. Just having fun with what you have. I'm not a purist as far as I can only use watercolor. I use whatever makes it simpler for me to do. So if I want to go over top of uh, an area, but I can't do it with a lighter color because I have a dark color on. This is a great way of using your colored pencils. Yeah, looks like my cocoa. She's starting to get gray in her fur now, around her little nose, she's getting some gray hairs.
And we'll put a little highlight on our eye. Hey, Kathy. Just uh, making a page for the day. Uh, just put a little highlight on her eye there. Oh, that one's a little bit big. There. And maybe on her nose. She has a very shiny nose. Some dots. And we have highlight on my the room of my coffee. Maybe some ripples in my coffee here. Highlight there and highlight on my pot, maybe a little bit. And maybe on the pencil right there. All right. It's August 15th. Now you could put more detail on on the um, coffee mug. So I had these little bees on my coffee mug. They're very simple, kind of cartoony. Like that. So I'll just indicate I'll know what it is because I know my mug, so I know that's what it was. And then we'll just go around the, don't see it all. Just put some bodies maybe. So that's what my mug looks like. Like I said, do you do whatever is what makes you happy? Whatever you figured out, I guess the head will be black. You make your list, your mind mapping list. And then you can um, draw whatever would be on your day. Um, let's see some yellow. No, nope, it's not gonna work. Let's do some Posca, I guess. Get some yellow in there. Okay, there's my cup. Um, let's do it black. 
or dark green maybe. Shading, oh, maybe gray. Let's give the gloves a little bit of dimension. Maybe they got some shaded areas in here. Just have fun with it. Maybe some of these areas would be a little darker because that's ripping. Be a little bit shaded by the glove there. Like that. Then let's see. Then you can, beside each thing, you can write about what your day would, consisted of or why you put the gloves in or um, I'll show you. So see, there's all kinds of little, and there's different fonts. There's writing, there's script, there's printing, different uh, looks like brushing brush marker type of thing and it can be as little or as much as you want big or small okay that just has a little story on the side there here's the date I like uh, the way she does hers because she always adds the date somewhere and she usually puts the um, what the weather was like. Like this one here, she's got raindrops and clouds. Uh, let's see if she's put anything in here. I don't see anything on that one. But most of the time she does put in the weather and I think that looks so cool, like <laughs> rainy day. There's sun, sun. There's a cat. And designs. It doesn't have to be all objects. Uh, she puts the design just to fill in the page. You could uh, also put in different papers and draw over top of it. There's another one, she used uh, squares. It's a great book to um, get some ideas. Like I love this. So this must have been her main thing she did on the day. And then there's the date. Dividing um, areas, you could use washi tape too. Uh, let's see, there's another one. She went to the dentist, so she did one of those. Um, floss, floor tiles, that was at the cafe. Uh, running shoes, there's Yogurt and berries she had for breakfast. And this is a memory of, of her van that she had. And rain in New York City. So it's just a coffee front. And then she wrote about her day. And it's not all covered. like um, Not like this where the background has got a color on it. It doesn't necessarily have to be. So I, I really like how she does these. See, here's, uh, could be napkin that you put in. So it's uh, endless what you could do. So I can, let's see. 
I can write about my day. So you can also, because I'm writing over top of watercolor, then I can erase it. So let's put in here. Um, okay, no rain. for three weeks. Half to water every day. And you can just take your marker and maybe you want to put capitals, no rain, an exclamation mark, and then four, three weeks. Make sure you change up your size of your um, font. Do some writing instead of printing. Have to water every day. This one here I can put in um, Coco. Always has to have her blanket. On her. Just play with your letters too. It makes some really cool fancy ones with dangles. I think it's just a great way of, of experimenting and getting comfortable with doing art or creativity in your book, sketchbook. Yeah, if you don't have a, a like sketch sketchbook, get a, a what do call composition book. And just erase your pen line or pencil lines. That way, if you make a mistake, it's no problem. 
And you can go back over top of that if you wanted to and make it a little fancier. Like, oh, not that one. You could use a script brush. Let's just put lines on the bottom. Just play with your scripts. Um, my chat goes away immediately after I post and I keep refreshing it. Oh, that's odd. Are you live chat, Susan? Hey, Devin. Hey, Mary. We're just playing with an everyday thing. <laughs> Let's see. Um, August 15th. Let's see. You could put weeds and more weeds <laughs> there's lots of weeds it's been so darn dry here that we can't weed because the ground our soil it's got a lot of clay in it so when you go to try and weed it just snaps off and leaves the um, root in the ground so you kind of just have to uh, make sure they don't seed so just pinch them off and then once the rain comes back and we'll probably go out and do a major weeding so it's So don't just have fun with your your drawing and play with different pens. Maybe you want different pens. You just have to test them because they can go through. So you just have to make sure you've got um, the right type of pen for your type of uh, paper. We finally got rain today. Awesome, Mary. Yay. I bet you could hear the flowers singing. <laughs> I swear. When that happens here, the trees are going to be dancing. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, morning coffee. No, that's not going to work. Bring it up. Don't like that.
one. Back deck. With dogs. Maybe I'll write that one different. And it's also good to, um, if you have any books on um, art journaling, get them out and see what kind of written work they're doing. Or if you have books on fonts, it's all kinds of, of different uh books you can get out there or go online. There's all kinds of online uh, font places that you can find. Go on Pinterest. Just have fun with it. Don't worry about I I hate my uh, writing, but this is my safe place to write. It's my, what I did. It didn't go through. I could do more um, pen work on cocoa here. So just to darken areas, you could do ha um, hatching, make the areas a little darker. No, I use colored pencil on here, so you might have a little bit of a problem. But try it out. Okay, what else? Um, post to office. And just put some scribbles on here, pretending it's got a name on it. Doesn't have to have anybody's address. Like that. See? You could actually put some stamps on here if you if you have stamps that are uh, repurpose. Let's put, I'm going to make her eyebrows a little bit lighter there. Then let's see, we can put that in post office.
Hmm. Make that smaller, I guess. Didn't quite fit. Could make it in different font. Like you could, you could even add if you have um, stickers. You could do sticker fonts too. Maybe blue. Let's see. I think I have blue in here. Nope. Can't use those. I could use paint. I have the uh, zig clean brush markers you could use those too or whatever you have that's not going to go through the page basically use it Post office. Mm. Now you could leave it like this, or you could do a whole lot more small writing on the bottom of the rest of your day. That type of thing. Yeah, it's it's really fun. I, Actually, it's kind of similar to what I've seen you do, Mary. You do awesome um, quick journal pages like this of your day. Or when you're doing stories, it's basically a story of your day. And it's just deciding how you want to lay it down on your page. It could be very busy or it could be simple.
time is it? Almost three o'clock. So I guess I'll let you guys go and um, I hope you'll give this a, a try. Find a composition book and just make out. This is what we did as we made a, a mind map of we put down what we typically have in the morning. What did we do? I watered my flower pots, uh, mailed a um, stack of happy mail to people. Uh, the dogs are always in my um, day. And I did some weeding. So with each one of those, what would it represent? So um, morning coffee, um, the news, the newspaper, a cup, coffee beans, energy drinks, some people said. Um, watering flower pots. I see bees, flower pots, hose, water, that type of thing. So actually I could put uh, droplets of water in here somewhere if I wanted to. Um, dog, leash, food bowl, paw prints. So we put paw prints. Uh, weeds, gloves, rake. So I put the gloves in. I could put some weeds down here or in here. Just draw some weeds. That would work too. Just have some fun with it. And by just putting little, little bits of wording in, that's all you need. Because you, you were there, so you know what your day consisted of. Yeah, it's just uh, a little bit of creativity, trying to, and, and the more you do, the better you'll get at it. So uh, it's just a matter of, like anything else, practice. So this is the book where I got my inspiration from, and uh, I got this on Amazon. She has two books out now, so if you, but this is such a great book, and she explains it, and um, just try and do it, and it doesn't have to be every day, that's the nice thing, and make it as detailed or not detailed as you want. Just, just try it, and um, put it in a book that's not going to be precious to you so that you can play with it and then eventually you will um, not have a care in the world of what how you're doing your your sketchbooks it's it's a sketchbook that's where you want to play hi lena so get out those sketchbooks and try something just play and have some fun with it because creativity is very important for you. It's a stress reliever. It lowers your blood pressure. It's great. So this Friday, uh, budding artists, I do have a uh, video for you. And it will be up on Friday. And this is what we're going to be doing. And there will be a traceable for the lemons and this writing here. And um, hope you'll give it a try. If you're, if you do uh, some, I'd love to see it. You could post it on Instagram. Just tag me, painting with Kathy Arbor, and then uh, I'd love to see it. All right, I'll let you guys go. Enough chit chat and um, just. Enjoy your creative journey, everyone. Bye for now.